Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video we'll discuss the difference between keyworded arguments and non-keyworded arguments. So in Python whenever we are not sure about the number of arguments that we want to pass to a function, we use these special symbols. So there are two special symbols, non-keyworded arguments and keyworded arguments. So non-keyworded arguments are noted, uh, denoted by star arg uh, argument uh, and by double star we mean keyworded arguments. So uh, yeah, so this is where uh, we use these arguments, these special symbols, whenever we are not sure about the number of arguments. And what are keyworded arguments? Keyworded arguments uh, are used whenever you want to provide a name to the variable as you are passing it to the function. So whenever you want to pass key value pairs, we use keyworded arguments. And now we will see some examples to understand this better. So here I have declared one function name as function 1 and here I am passing argument variable. We can name uh, here as as I want and I am iterating this argument variable here by using for loop. I will just use for argument in argument variable print argument and I am running this function here and passing some words that's welcome to crack concept and if I run this code now then you can see this is the output I get. So I can iterate over this um iterate uh iterate this argument variable so uh, let's say if i don't put this star variable and just uh, sending this three words to the function and if i run this code now we can see that we are giving this error that we have function one takes only one positional argument but we are giving the three so to uh, when we are not sure about how many arguments we have to pass we use we can use this argument variable to uh, in a function now we can also pass the list here to, to a function here. Okay, so I'm just passing here the list. We can pass the list using star li. Now if I run the code, then again we can we, we can see this the code is running and we are getting this output. So for argument in argument variable, um, and we just printing just print arguments so i uh, it's not like that we cannot uh, declare here normal arguments we can also declare normal arguments also so if i passed here just normal argument one name as normal i'm just printing here print normal argument is I'm just printing here normal and now if I run the code arguments okay. now if I run the code then we can see that the first word is taken as a normal argument and after the first word is all are considered as an argument variable and we can see that uh, we can we, we are getting this output so now we will see what are the keyword arguments variable. I am just taking here function name as function 1 and passing here keyword arguments variable. When we are passing keyword arguments variable we just have to put double star and we can name this uh, variable as we want and just I am iterating here by using for loop. For key, key comma value in keyword arguments variable dot items don't forget to uh, write here dot items and just printing here by using upstring key and its value. So I am just uh, passing here for uh, name and value when we we, uh, we use keyword arguments variable we just have to put the uh, we just have to give key and value name whenever we are whenever we are using it in the function so i'm just passing here name first and then its value second then its value last and its value now if i run this code then we we get this output which is first welcome second to and last crack concept now we can also pass your dictionary so uh, we were passing the dictionary whenever we give uh, this name and value name and value or keyword arguments uh, to the function it's uh, it's same in the function as a dictionary type so if i print the type of this dash dash keyword arguments variable then we can see it's a type uh, okay just a second type of we just don't have to print this we can see that uh, uh, the class uh, the type of this keyword argument variable is class dictionary so it's a dictionary class when we uh, pass this to a function and if i use here we can also use arguments uh, in this function it's not necessary to pass uh, the it we can also use it here so now if i run the code we will get the same output and if i print 
the type of this box. So it's giving me as okay type of argument. So it's uh, the type of the argument is tuple. Whenever we pass arguments uh, to the function or variable arguments, uh, variable length arguments to the function, it uh, it's signed into the function as a tuple. So we can see that arguments are tuple and keyword arguments are dictionary. So, okay, I'll just remove this. And now we can also pass dictionary to the function. When we pass the dictionary, we just have to put double star and then pass the name of the dictionary. And now if I run this code, just, okay. Now, if I run this code, then we can get this uh, output here. So we just uh, passing name Suhani marks 80. This is the key and this is the value key and value and we can iterate it uh, here by using uh, for. So this is how we can use keyword arguments.